I feel I feel unnoticed or invisible. I feel like um, being up in uh, up here in northeast Montana, since we're such a a small population, that um, the profits of a foreign company in Alberta, Canada, um, outweigh, um, and for the for the export to another foreign country, um, I, I believe that I feel like we're being um, passed over, not considered, that, that we're expendable, that, that my people, uh, you know, the Fort Peck Assiniboine tribe, we've, we're basically 96%, uh, um, there were 96% of us that were killed by waves of smallpox. So the 4%, the 3 to 4% of us that have survived, um, my, my great grandparents that had survived, the great great grandparents, um, you know, just just the fact that we survived the those type of poisonings and those, you know, some say they were intentional. That smallpox blankets were introduced to 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 my people on on purpose to to kill us off to get us out of the way. And it's it's a fact that our our uh, our livelihood and and our food source for our, our buffalo were were killed off also, and we're we're barely reintroducing that. So we've lost so much in the past 200 years. Um, and it's just a, another, another wave of smallpox. It's another wave of uh, a poisonings that's that's uh, potentially going to happen to to my people. So, and I believe that um, my my ancestors had survived those waves of uh, you know attack on on our, on our way of life in our in our existence. And it's it's my responsibility to stand up and do the same for future generations. And I, I may not see. You know anything coming out of speaking up, and um, but hopefully my grandchildren will.